Because Elizabeth had discovered something. She had discovered something that we look for our whole lives and that she had known most of her life but was not able to name. She finally knew in an existential way what she had known cognitively that God is much more than religion. She was finally able to see how riding, hiking, traveling, time with family, work, friends, and yes, occasionally church, was the mysterious presence that she called God in her life. And we are here today because this presence, regardless of the name we use for it is the gift that she gives each of us. I'll close with a line from one of my favorite albums. You see, I sort of date myself just by using that word. (laughs) Album. This album was released... The year Beth was born. So I date myself even further. But the words are timeless. And to use another archaic phrase, on the flip side of Abbey Road are these closing words. And in the end, The love you take is equal to the love you make. My friends, the hundreds of people who came to see Beth in the hospital, the thousands of people who have visited the website, And all of us here today are each witnesses of such love. Love in the life of Elizabeth Ridgway, by whatever name you may know her. Love that has been multiplied. Love that we are called to make in the world. In the end, the love we take is equal to the love we make. And we have a shining example before us this morning. Amen.
Please join with me in our benediction. And following the benediction, I invite you to take a seat as Beth's colleagues exit and the family exits during the postlude. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant, Elizabeth Bridgeway. Receive her into the arms of mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace.